Graffiti Kingdom. Welcome back to Let's Play Graffiti Kingdom. Today we're going into post game. After you beat the game, you're in the end credits roll and all. You're prompted with a save dialog where you can save your game. So here on the save data screen, you can actually see there's silhouettes of all the bosses you've beat over the course of the game, and game clear data has a little ribbon on the side. And then you can go back in, you're free to run around, free to have fun, do really whatever you want to do. You can, at this point, also re-fight bosses. Re-entering a boss arena will let you fight a boss again. This is how you get the missable um, cards. So, on top of letting you now get your missable cards, another thing that this gives you access to... are a few fancy attacks. Um, for example, right now I have Rip Punch, which is the lightning punch. But I'm gonna go ahead and replace Rip Punch with a Mega Punch. So, when you beat the game, you get access to the Mega Skills. Now, not every doodle has access to every mega skill, but there is a mega skill for every tier. Like, I should be able to go down to weapon, hit, and go down here and find a mega swing. I don't have a mega swing, though, because this doodle isn't the right type for it. You can see the creature type up there at the top is moving attack. Different creature types will give you access to different mega abilities. I'm not exactly sure what determines what you have access to. Uh, let's see here. Regular. So, does regular have... It may not. Oh! Um, the thing that I did with the R9, you may have heard footsteps when it was moving. And that's because I gave it legs. I gave it four legs and let it move. So now it actually just runs around. This also gives it leg moves, which is kind of interesting. I don't think it'll have... No. I think regular only gets, like... No, this is a shoot type? What? How are you a shoot type? You don't even have a charge element. Or maybe you do. Maybe I gave you a fire? Maybe I gave you one for that? No, because you don't even have a thing. All right, well, I don't know, man. What are you? You're a shoot type, though. I can give you it. Mega shot. Um, can I give you Mega Breath? No. Energy Beam, is there like a... Oh, I don't even have access to oh, I don't have access to even the beam category. Um, this is obviously not a save that has access to all of the abilities, but getting access to all of the abilities, it's not hard, it's just time consuming. You just have to run back through the game, and every doodle that you've seen, you gotta swipe and turn into them, then you can just change right back into pixel again, and you're good, you get it. Again, it takes some time, and you can see the stars under their name, saying how many abilities they have to give you. So it's pretty easy to run right in and see exactly where you need to go, what you need to get. Like, Spongy doesn't give me anything. Man, vaporizes. Friggin' vaporized! It's them mega level attacks. Grasser, spongy. I'm looking for somebody that has a star under them. 
but I guess I have most of these. Oh, Sun Spinner, you have one. See the one star, so you can change into them, and you get Uppercut! And then you can just change right back, and all is well in the world. Sometimes you just gotta shoot a guy in the face. So another thing that I'm in here for, um, while I'm in here on top of just showing off the mega attacks. Oh wow, didn't. But I can get a whole bunch of abilities from it. So yeah, you do that, that's how you get it. Not that hard. Now there is one other, or one last thing that I'm looking for, which is after you've cleared an area, which does mean if you want to, you have to wait until post game to get the to get this in the final area. But once you clear an area, you can go back to it, and there will be a card hidden somewhere that you can just kind of go get. And in here, the card is. Could have sworn it was here. Oh no, it's um. I thought it was up there. It's not. It's actually in that crate. And again, if you get to the end, you get to refight the boss too, which is kind of neat. And that one card that's hidden somewhere after clearing an area is the boss card. So we only have the first one, but it's Little Niss. Do I have somewhere I could put it? I could overwrite uh, Reimu, I guess. Just to show off what it is. It's straight up the boss. Like, it's not like a small or weak version of the boss or anything. It's straight up the guy that you fought. Spinny. And now you do not have access to every of the abilities that they have because they're bosses and they actually had like kind of a wide variety of attacks they could do. Some of the early bosses didn't have many. You can't, I don't know, summon minions or anything. But yeah, that's that. So we still have, now that I've shown off the mega attacks, which is the one fun thing, we do still have one last little bit of collection to do, which means I'm going back to the Tower of Sand Kingdom. Were you Tower of Sand Kingdom? Yes. Hey, there's one of them. So this will let us get the ones at the top of the tower, which means I don't have to climb all the way up here every time anymore. So that'll at least speed that process up. So the top few will be replaced by Double Ninja. The top couple nightmares, anyway. Got Double Ninja here. Neat, he's got like a little after, after image or something. There's the card for Double Ninja. And Double Ninja always appears alongside the guys in the next room. Which is Little Masa. Hey, there's the card for that one. And the Japanese castle. And I saw the card for him, too! Yeah, I'm poisoned. I don't care. Give me that card. 
All right. So those were three of the rare cards. Those were the three you'd get up top. Um, again, that's the the king in the center will be replaced by the Japanese castle. The two spawns will be replaced by a single little masa. And some, but not all, of the horse rider guys' nightmares in the previous room will be replaced by double ninja. Ah, it's him! Graffiti Red! Oh, and we even got his card! Okay, okay, I was about to be very upset, but we did it. We saw Graffiti Red, and we got his card! So I'm gonna come here and save. And the reason for that is once one of these guys spawn, they all spawn. Which means now I can just save scum the rest of them. I almost think they expected this because the very every time I've tried, every time I've tried, the first one gives me their card. After that, it's a crapshoot. But the first one does. So, now that I've got it, we can go in and take a look at him. Graffiti Blue! Oh yeah! I'm actually at full health. That's a little surprising. Oh, you'll notice I changed out my abilities again. Graffiti Yellow! Because I found that the... Dang, well, we're gonna have to come back for Yellow. That's alright, I saved. Graffiti Green! So I changed my abilities out again because I found that combo starting with the punch, not having access to a swing on first hit was rough. Gonna have to come back for both of them. And finally, Graffiti Pink. So each one of the graffiti, ooh, and we got that one. So each one of the graffiti rangers actually gives you, each one of them is a different class of creature, I guess, uh, reliant on a different move set. You saw one of them shot at you, one of them flew, one of them had a tail. We got a fair number of them, but I'm afraid that's not all of them. So what I'm going to do is go load my save, go back, and get all of them. And there's our card! Don't end game. Ooh, ooh, okay. Hmm. So obviously I didn't try to get all of them in one go, like all of them at the same time. Um, I would fight one until I got it, and then once I got it, I would save, and then I would fight the next one. It's not too bad. They have maybe like a 25% chance to drop it, but you also kill two around, so it's about every other time you'd get the card. 
So also, maybe I've just been getting lucky, I guess, in getting that first one. And if I have been, then I'm grateful for it. Because otherwise, I hate these. They're my least favorite spawns in the game. I don't know if they're post-game only or just so rare that I can't even tell. All right, so the ones we got, double ninja. It'd be nice if I could like look at these aside from just this. Little Masa, Japanese castle. Graffiti Red, who looks like he has a weapon. Graffiti Gray? Gotta look at your colors there, dude. But he has wings. Graffiti Green, who looks like he punches and kicks. Oh, he's got, like... The, the pencils are the things that they do. So he's got a pencil on his stick. Got pencil on his wings. He's got pencils on his hands and feet. Graffiti Yellow, who actually has a pencil on his belt. Because he shoots out of his belt. Graffiti Green, like, shot at you, didn't he? And then Graffiti Pink, who has a tail. But there we are, that's all of them, we did it. Also, what do we got? We got the horizontal line, we got the plus sign, we got the cross, we got, like, the division thing. Which, which set of Power Rangers is that? They also have that graffiti symbol on their chest. Hold up, I want to take a closer look at it. Can't really tell from here. I don't have a lot. They really don't have a lot. I'm gonna take a look at this thing on your chest, though. What is this? Oh, they actually drew it. I was thinking they would have used the the doodle, the doodle majigger, like the line tool. But no, they drew it. Like it's 3D objects. All right, whatever you say. Anything fancy going on? Any like invisible pieces anywhere, or is that it? That's it. All right. Delete all. Okay, so that means going through our collection book. We are now done here. All 19. So all we have to do now is get the rest of the boss cards. So for that, we're off to number two. Boss number two, which is in Mount Here and There. So right near the second save point, you can see way off there in the distance is a little card. You know what? I could make like an ice path or something and slowly make my way out there, or I could just do this. And we got it. And then we're going back in because we're not done yet. We're next up going to the lava hole because there were, remember, two bosses. You beat one at the end of Mount Here and There and the other at the end of the second two areas. So, Nearer the end of the area, there's this room here with this thing that's activated by you hit it. The platform moves. Well, right in the middle of this room on this uh, platform right out here is a card. And there we go. Now that we're done with that area, on to the next. So when the area splits into three, where each route you deal with different fire dragons, in the chains, over here on the side, there's a card. And now we're going back to my favorite place in the world, the Tower of Sand King. 
So it should be the third flight of stairs. There's a crate here. That has a card in it now! Yay, we did it! Go us. And next up, you gotta look for Pallet sticking her leg out. I don't know why she's sticking her leg out. Go, go, bowling room. So in the final area, so I can just kind of fly up now. There's this bowling pin tr gate trap at the very end. And if you can get on top of it, there's your card. And then we go back in to the Beast of the Lost Sea. So in the maze, there's this little side area with the aliens and that umbrella thing. And you go over here and this guy comes down. Hop up here, there's your car. And that actually finishes off, finishes us off for the most part, but there is still the battle at Devil Palace. You may recall, actually, there are a few bosses we fought in here. So in the room with the books, float on down to the lowest book. And there we are. Now, like I said, you may recall there were quite a few bosses we fought in there. But yet we only grabbed one card. Well, that's because we're not done yet. The rest of them are actually hidden throughout the rest of the game. So we get to go back into places. Specifically the level. In the very first room of the lava hole, actually, you can see the entrance is right down there. If you go up as high as you can, and then go higher, across the way you'll see a platform with a big old devil face on it and a card. Now these two cards that we just grabbed were actually the... the devil himself's first and second forms. But we also fought like six different tablets. So we gotta go get them. And the first one is... I want to say it's in here, actually. The Wind of Pan Ravine. Ah, there it is. That was easy. So after the Wind of Pan Ravine, that was pretty near the entrance. It was after the very first bridge. Like, you're like two, three rooms in. Um, so the next up is... I want to say you. We haven't been to Battle Planet yet. So in the final room of this whole mess, as soon as I get lit on fire and run around for a minute. Yep. Everyone's on fire today. You can just kind of nope away from that whole mess out there and go around back of the platform. Where I think it's neat that it's like this big two-dimensional looking thing that's just held up by these supports, but there's a card. Like, it looks so big and mean, and it's just kind of... Alright, we're not done yet. 
What's another place we have not gotten a card from? Pallets? Pallets. Alright, so in the ice room... The lower of the ice rooms... Oh, I remember where it is. It's, um... Right there. All right, we're almost there. How many forms did that guy have? Like, I don't know, 70? We're almost there. In the last room, before the final boss, right up on this little mountain here, there's always been a bunch of experience, but now there's also a card. Now I'm gonna get out of here before I get killed by these idiots. And that brings us to only one. And for that, we're going back to the beginning, back to the Canvas Plains. So I think it's just the second room or so. Yep, there it is. Second room or so. This is a tree you could hit and a guy comes out of it. But there's a ledge up there that I think you may be able to jump to that one. You may need like high jump or charge jump or something. But of course, if you can fly, that kind of makes things easier. But that should be it. That should be all of them. And if we take a look, we have Little Niss, we have Micro Carlton, Easel Jr., Shao Telepin. I'm very angry because regular Telepin was a nightmare, and Shao Telepin doesn't actually have a lot. Deskel Klein, Little Acrilla, look at that big old flower. Little Palette. Little Medium A. I'm not entirely sure why they called the final boss Medium. But yeah, Medium A, you got his standing up, running around form. That's the, that's the pretty cool looking form. Then you got Medium B in his full-on wolf form. And then you have like 500 tablets because you have Shield Tablet, you have Flying Tablet, you have Mage Tablet, you have Super Combo Tablet, and then you have the tablet we all recognize as being tablet. And then that's it. Again, I'm very sad because this kind of crap, this is like ultimate final boss crap, but its moveset is actually not that amazing. But that is it. We have completed it. Our collection box, so saith the label. I'm gonna save real quick. But because otherwise, that's it. We got all the cards. I've shown off about everything there is to show off. There's one little thing I can think to show off, and sure, why not? I'll go show it off. Um, specifically because I didn't actually go and collect all of the abilities. But on this save file, I did. Now, it's sad to say this isn't going to be, like, world opening or anything. Like, eye opening what you can get. But you do get stuff like, um... You got all the body attacks. You your crash ones, your tackles, your unleashes, which we saw. You your arm attacks, which is just mostly your punches. Your move around, so your hooks. I don't know why that's called move around. Raise, so you get like an uppercut. Lower is a chop. Spin. 
and all of these come in all elements, and that's usually what you're missing, is all elements. And then protect is just defend. Uh, you get leg attacks. Move around, you get a roundhouse kick. Raise, so kind of an, an uppercut, but a kick. Your spin kicks. Your stomps. Other, which is... I don't know why they put swing kick here. It's only one. It doesn't even come in other elements. It's just... It's just this. I don't know what what's so special about it. You get your weapon attacks, which I've mostly shown off. So you get your weapon swing. And you get your... Your thrash. Your thrust. Uh, your move attack, so you get your dash. Jet dash doesn't look like much, but it's the same as a regular dash, only you can use only use it in the air. Alternatively, regular dash you can only use on the ground. And then you fly, so you get your jumps. High jump and charge jump. Back step. Which is kind of fancy. Uh, let's see here. What else is there? What else move-wise is there? There's the shoots. So your charge attacks. So your rapid shot. Your charge shot. A chase shot, which charges up and then you fire and it just bounces after the target. Your breath. Your beam. Ah, uh, what else is there? There's the tire moves. I don't know if flight actually gives any additional moves other than flight. No, it looks like it just gives fly. Oh, it also gives tornado. Is that, like, not charge up or something? I feel like maybe you can only use it in the air. Well, let's try it. Um, fly, let's get rid of... Oh, we gotta get that. Let's get rid of energy beam. Okay, we got a triangle tornado. Maybe, like, hold it down? No, that's... That's it. It shoots one little tornado forward, and that's... I mean, it's okay, I guess. Uh, the only other moves I can think of are the wheel moves. So, let's see here. You have got your tackles, you got ride. Still just your stomps, though. Rampage. Man, he's going places. Got your unleashes. Couldn't be under arm. Dash. Turn? I don't actually know what turn does. Let's set you to turn and we'll see what it does. You're on circle. Oh, it lets you, like, conserve momentum or something, so you can turn on a dime. Because otherwise, wheels are kind of difficult to turn. So you can, like, stop and point and then keep going. Hi, Mats! 
Alright, I guess. Wheel is still... controls weird. People were telling me to put, like, wheels on the R9, and, like, I'm not dealing with these controls with an R9. I don't know if I really have anything else to show off. Um... I think Crimson Queen is a movement type, so, like, they only get the Mega Tackle. You're a shoot type, so you have that Mega. Mega. Regular... Moving Attack, which is strangely the same as that. So, yeah, I guess that's it. That's all I got for you today. And sadly, that brings Graffiti Kingdom to a close. I hope you've all enjoyed. I tried to get as much as I could, show off as much as I could, and in the end, I more or less got and showed everything off. Even got to show off the doodle making engine, all the fancy things you can do with that, including making my wonderful Miss Naka here. Um, I, I just want to say how happy it makes me to be able to run around this game as Miss Nanaka. Like, there are ways you can maybe edit a sprite or slip something in to another game, or even in, like, 3D Dot Game Heroes, you can draw your own little character and run around in Miss Nanaka. And, like, that's, that's neat and all, but being able to really make her like, to be able to make her in three dimensions in a way that's easily recognizable as her. To be able to run around and move as her. To choose her attacks and movement style and everything so she acts like her. Like, I can't tell you what this, I can't tell you guys what this means to me. And it really makes me wish that I had inter that I had done this way sooner, so I could have been running around as her more. And it, honest to goodness, makes me very sad to end this series, if only because I don't get to run around like this anymore. Until next time, everyone. This has been it for Graffiti Kingdom. Uh, you know, maybe I should have made something from Zelda. I mean, I did make something from Metroid, so at least I got that.